Scorpio, welcome to my channel. It's the Rainbow Wizard. Uh, I will be doing a reading for you. It is for the end of March and beginning of April. I will uh, be away next weekend, so I will not be able to do readings most likely. Uh, again, always have the intention to do so, uh, but uh, yeah, again, for me, uh, any uh, anything to do with work, uh, I prefer to do it in a specific setup, so very fixed in that way. But anyhow, letting you know, trying to fit in all readings this, uh, this weekend. Um, I also have the Black Rainbow. I will probably be uploading a collective readings because then everyone will get some information. Uh, well, if you're following my channel, and of course, you will have a, there's so much to choose from. I would say as well, like, since I started watching YouTube and Tarot, and I was there, wow, I was like, in my uh, kind of old-fashioned way of thinking that, well, when I'm going to, well, take on my, uh, like, Tarot as a hobby, it must be when I'm old, and it has to be in a cafe, right? Because that's how I started going to uh, get Tarot readings. I remember living in Australia at the time, and I used to always, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't expensive either. I used to spend, uh, you know, <laughs> 20 to 50 dollars and get an hour anyway so uh this is will be uh, for you like a reading for the beginning of april now now you can um, long story cut short watch so many different readings i will always say as well i think when we're looking for answers that's when we also connect i find that when i'm not looking for any answers i don't resonate with any reading so what, what what's the point of trying to make them fit personally i love tarot it's an interest so i will kind of watch tarot readings just to appreciate different styles and, and so on so yeah but if you're here uh, looking for a message especially in love uh, understanding what's going on in a situation well uh, i will be looking into that right now so please like subscribe share a comment as well and uh, let's get this show on the road shall we scorpio all right so this card wanted to come out first options 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 uh, confusions is also com coming with option. Is it the right option? Who is your soulmate? Maybe you have a few soulmates. We do. I think we have nine. Or, you know, there is no <laughs> facts really, is it? Um, you also have a lot of abundance around you. It is you also embracing abundance, independence as well, Scorpio. You might have Libra placements in your chart. Um, someone here feels that you are their wish fulfillment. They feel happy. They feel, they feel this good feeling when they look at you. This person is very attracted to you. Um, and uh, yeah, they think you are very, 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 very attractive. For you, Scorpio, I'll be coming back to you. But you are in your own energy as well. But that it's a definitely a new chapter uh, but more so a new chapter it has to do with a, a death of an old self as well and you are embracing something new in this person's um energy there are two people two queens um again prior to the gender that resonates um and um you know see how that fits to you i see here so what you don't know and see coming scorpio is that there is a third party situation that is coming to an end someone could have ghosted you because they were giving to someone else and they were giving to you you're going to um well here you're going to experience someone coming back to you there will also be a change here and uh, maybe you do not want this person like, well, this person have hurt you, um, this person have not taken action, a Scorpio as well, but there will be uh, finding out that you are still attracted to this person when they come towards you. Now, I will be looking into this person's energy right now as I looked at the watch. It is 11.11. 11. So, maybe your birthday is the 11th of 11th. Maybe you are dealing with a twin flame. The twin flame reading I did early today, and my goodness, um, on your side, and again, you can also switch. There is someone that's going through an intense rage and being triggered. There was like a very heavy energy. It's, uh, it's that being caught into the bee's nest and then having to defend yourself. Okay, but that's not you now, so we are not going to focus on that. So... Scorpio, um, you could have uh, maybe fire elements in your chart, or they could be dealing also with someone with fire elements in their chart. Spirits, what do you want me to share with Scorpio about this person showing up in their reading? Someone is very attracted to you. They want to start a new beginning. This person could be in a relationship already, or they're moving away from a relationship. 
they are usually following the security and uh, sometimes this person uh, when they are out of their let's say the feeling of uh, being secure they think that necessary it has to be a bad thing so um, someone could be so attracted to you that they feel that this is not um, a natural feeling so therefore they are saying they are going against the grain um, they are not doing something that is in their nature but this person is uh, realizing that they have strong feelings and desire for you the stronger the desire gets the more they question okay what are they doing are they doing something bad um, again are they we have yet yeah, someone with strong um, earth elements in their chart I see the lion here of course so it could be a Leo behind them um, this person they want to move forward now they have been hiding their feelings and intentions towards you they have not taken action they have a strong attraction but possibly more than an attraction this person could be very obsessively watching you online someone could also be watching them online so when this person come towards you there is a tower moment happening in their life here something has to come to light and there will be a rage going on potentially someone will speak the truth i do see someone possibly moving away from a capricorn or a leo that's for some of you there is wrapping up a chapter they have to confront a difficult situation but they if they don't confront it it's never going to be a comfortable situation to be confronted by this situation is uh bringing a tower something about an old structure is crumbling around them when they come towards you they are following their heart but it's something about being sneaky about following their heart they try to find another way to go towards you they think that they could go around the queen of pentacles so they could lie to someone they could lie to you they have done that in the past so that pulled you and then apart so Scorpio, you are here in this kind of embracing the the new you. You feel that you have also faced something that was injustice that hurt you. And you want to just sort of say, oh, I, I had enough of this heavy energy. Now I'm just going to um, get out there. I need to get out there. I need to, you know, I need to face what I want to. If you are if you are also um, independent and have success in your life, this is about you also uh, not avoiding celebrating your success just because maybe you there's other parts in your life where you feel, oh, th these, this is not going so well, so therefore I need to give it some more time. It says here, um, Scorpio, do embrace the success that you have. It's important to embrace it. Life is too short to hide away. Life is too short also to show who you love. You can't always be considerate of everyone else around you. You need to you need to take action and you need to understand that you have um, possibility now to heal the rift in your own ego. There is cooperation and peace as well happening. I see that your um you are really embracing in the new opening up communication is flowing you are following a traditional way of thinking and uh, it's um it's something about you um, like embracing what is your true beliefs if you believe in in tradition and, and that's you you are going to follow this way of thinking a libra around you or a taurus could be the person that you have feelings for they have feelings for you the person that hurt you now there is a situation so someone that is coming towards you perhaps they ghosted you or there is a someone dealing with the burdens of a queen of wands this is someone that they have to leave um and they are going towards you because you are the one they are attracted to but there is some noise behind them as well so yeah for all of you it's going to be different but it's something coming up in your um yeah it's in your reading <laughs> basically so um okay need to find the right deck here so I'm going to use this big twin flame energy um, and something's going to happen in the season of Aries. A wealthy man 
wealthy woman applied hard resonate there is a strong attraction and wanting to move forward two people have maybe not been speaking or this person goes to you for someone else you could also feel that well they did that so therefore you know i'm not going towards them is diff is, is a mixed bag but someone here will express feelings towards you you could have two people around you as well um scorpio you could have uh, a lot of options too there could be someone with strong libra in their chart strong uh, taurus or someone here with aries in their chart coming towards you so you have options you uh, could feel a little sort of oh you feel like behind <laughs> you feel like behind this you following your traditional thinking and uh, and, and speaking the truth and, and doing what's right you feel that oh there is a lot of challenges you are some of you that want to be pregnant or there could be a birth around you there is a significant new it signifies a new beginning you have plenty of options as well and it's saying here scorpio you should not you should not really in this situation scorpio be too sensitive about who is around you there could be someone that is coming towards you and this sounds quite surreal um that someone has strong feelings for you and they are leaving someone behind i just see here there's there's people coming towards you with third parties around them and that it's not kind of it's saying just here that everyone has a past you have your past you could have you know you have option meaning you have to select if that's what you want uh, and there is also uh, someone here that is is choosing you it's not everyone it's not about here uh, who's winning but it could feel this way it could feel like oh my goodness what is <laughs> it's like quite it can be quite intense but for you i don't see it's a an issue or anything like that um scorpio uh, i see that here you are focusing on being in being very grounded, um, trying to, uh, you're in an extremely protective and happy energy and a positive event is happening and, and that's yours to celebrate. If no one can take that celebration away from you. That happiness that you feel from this positive event, this could be creating your business, this could be birth of a child, this could be, uh, again, a twin flame coming towards you. This is yours. You know what you want and you are entitled to celebrate it and actually no one can take this joy away from you, but there is someone here behind, um, a person that will be jealous and they will make it known that they don't like it. Yeah, there is a queen of wands here that is not happy, uh, that someone that they once have been in a relationship with they are re releasing or re revealing feelings to towards you uh, this person here they have the intentions here to uh, maybe cast either a spell uh, they feel that is unfair that um, you are protected uh, that you are the one that this person want to fight for even though you are someone that is a uh, you, you know, even though you are someone that isn't doing anything to get their attention, they are still coming towards you. My goodness, um, I see here Scorpio. It's um, it's very much of um, what I can see in this reading. It's actually quite a few options. This could be two people that know that okay, this is my person, okay, but two people have just one have stayed in a relationship, the other person, which is you, it's like you're embracing a new beginning, but as you are opening up to a new beginning and healing from heartache, you have attracted someone else. It just seems like all the people in this reading, um, uh, a Scorpio, you could find yourself, um, a, let's say the original person is your twin flame, you know who you love deep down, but you have let them go because you don't see it's working out. Very often that's the case with twin flame when it comes to practical. Then you are attracting someone else because you are sort of opening up and you could be attracting someone that is mirroring like the same situation as the other person that is your twin flame. So there could be like a, a, a quite a few situations with like um, someone leaving a relationship or someone that is have someone behind them that they have to confront. It's like history repeats itself. So you could find, you could ta tackle it in, in a few ways, Scorpio. You could be like, oh my God, why am I always the one, like when you say this, like I always do this, I always attract the situation, okay? But you can also see uh, at it is, oh, oh, how lucky am I? I? I have all these people interested in me. Uh, you don't really have to say I always, um, because you can always say as well, oh, I, I always fall in love uh, and that is a positive thing, but 
if you say i always fall in easily in love but then i fall in ro lo in love with the wrong person it's not such a such a thing you know you don't have to fall in love with the wrong person you don't choose who you fall in love with uh, so it's that it's how you think about it so you could be faced uh, Scorpio with a situation of like oh no um, I'm so excited but then you are oh I'm so excited and then you are like oh no this this that so you look at what's not going to work but it says here Scorpio it's um your time to shine um it's your time to get out of your shell you are independent you don't have any uh you don't have to um hide or be strategic because you are the one that is the independent empress so really you don't have any um you know you don't have any commitment or having to consider uh people's feelings that isn't your considerations to take it's something like that in this reading um scorpio so this is uh, a time for you uh, to shine, uh, Scorpio. Yes, there are some uh, jealousy, a bit of like endings going on behind the scenes. But again, it's not your ending. Uh, this is you healing from a heartbreak, a difficult time. And it's you going out to shine. Uh, as you shine, a soulmate connection is coming towards you. Uh, there could be, again, two soulmates, two connections. You are saying, which cup do I want to explore or who has that, who's matching my energy? There's a lot of new energies and it really says here, um, it's it's worthwhile exploring it. it the, these feelings of uh, not being sure if you're doing the right thing and so on. It just says here, don't really think too much about something not worth thinking too much about because it's not, um, you know, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's, uh, it's as if, let's say when you're very busy, you're working, right? Do you have time to think so much about, like, let's say a love situation? But if you're on holiday suddenly and you get entangled in, uh, just to give an example, uh, you go for one month holiday and you look your best and you are single and actually you attract three people and you have a lot of fun with them and like suddenly you get entangled into, you're, you're, you're here when you're on one date, oh, well, actually my... Uh, I'm leaving someone or, you know, it's like not really to do with you, but because the focus is on the situation, you could or could not feel a bit, oh no, I'm doing something wrong or, but then you are like, oh, let's remember I'm on holiday. I mean, when I leave in two weeks, yeah, all I did was enjoying uh, these connections and now I'm back to my work. So it's in a other perspective, if you are not in, on a holiday, you are dating, you are meeting people, you are having fun, uh, there are many expressing feelings to you. You don't have to sort of think, oh, what, what, what's my end decision? Uh, I would say, as always, with anything in life, if you feel good about any situation, and yeah, of course, you supposedly don't want to go dating when you are married. I mean, that's why you get married. But then again, it's not about being judgmental here and saying when or when you cannot do stuff. This is just you, Scorpio, feeling in a very powerful great wealth health energy and it's you exploring different connections it just says every connection comes with ins and out don't think about focus on what you like about the focus of the person that you're meeting and that's it that's it for the moment and you don't have to go and hiding or feel intimidated because there could be a situation intimidating you but it's not your turn to be intimidating it's not your problem that there could be some surroundings this is very much of scenario scorpio where you are feeling good about you it's not going to be uh, like you having to be considerate of strangers feelings and situation is not your problem uh, at this time that's where it very much was coming up because otherwise you will lose out on something great so yeah nine of pentacles this is your time to shine this is your time to flash um your cash <laughs> this is your time to say well you know what i have released my feelings and burdens and because i followed the recipe i followed yeah simply followed uh what i should do and uh yeah i have my rewards and then you will be in a situation where you are seeing again a few a few sort of uh head some people butting their head against the wall but again this is not because you are in the queen of cups or in your emotions you could be empath uh, so being empath or you could just 
sort of easily see and notice things and, and then you're like oh you know I should be considerate of so and so because see I know this past person is I have feelings for me and they have just taken contact but now they are contacting me because they see I'm happy but actually no I don't want to to be with them so there could be a person in a marriage they are contacting you this person is going through a difficult time here or they have someone behind them that is going through a difficult time again it it's not for you to consider someone's feelings or situation in that sense there could be someone telling you okay i'm actually going through a breakup you know my spouse uh, or partner or someone or in their life is going through a very difficult time so it also says here um uh uh, Scorpio yeah you might have someone sharing what's going on in their life it's fine you can just be like okay thank you for sharing it's saying very much here everything you hear just be a um it's like you listen you don't have to think that you have to be involved in any drama because yeah it's just people will always share stuff especially with water signs so it's like just uh, yeah, it's, it's just that uh, explore the journey. Uh, sometimes when people are nervous, uh, they also say a lot. So it's something about taking everything with a grain of salt um, and not really... Um, because some of you could be inclined to sort of... Is that you're in such great energy and you know when you're in great energy, you're like... You could still be... If, if you have recently healed from anything and then when you feel in a great energy, it will be very much... Do not expose me to your dramas because I am good here. So it's almost like the, be the best thing you can do is kind of not even saying the words. Just be like, okay, the world will go on because I am healed, because I do feel great. Of course, I will also observe people that are not healed. It doesn't mean that I have to say, don't come near me because... I am the healed one here. So it just says here that you really have the power and the confidence and the courage and the strength to really embrace all of it. Uh, and, and without you being necessarily the one to be bruised because you have recovered, you have healed. So yeah, it's basically saying that. And when you put the thought to one side that you don't have to go back into a victim mode or feeling burdened by other people's problems, mm, it's actually also a learning experience that you're going to find that you're going to enjoy life a lot more. You're going to focus more on the positive and you're going to be able to brush off more of the, the negative. Because there is a person here, especially if you're dealing with someone with air in their chart coming towards you and they could tell you something that you have experienced with someone before and you are like, oh my God, here we go again. But it says that every situation in your life. So if you also attract someone that, okay, they could have a negative situation that's the same, but if you have feelings for this person and there's a lot of positive, supposedly so, it's more like don't focus you don't need to focus on what could go wrong. That's you should be ahead of uh, and say, "Oh, gotta gotta go." I can see this is a, oh, this was a mistake. I must leave immediately because I see someone have. Uh, I come back next month. It says here you are there for a reason. You are in a good vibration and good energy. Yes, unfortunately, there will be always life world. It's full of the good, bad, and the ugly, but you have the strength to master it. There is no, it's not necessary right now for you to um, go back into feeling hurt because it's actually not real. You are not feeling hurt at all. Um, so that will just be you uh, escaping for the escape for the sake of escaping. Sorry, and it's not necessary. Uh, yeah, but the person is coming towards you. I see this person. They've been wanting to express feelings to you for quite some time. They see you as someone very successful, again, someone very beautiful. This person is going to be coming forward. Now, they can also have Capricorn in their chart, maybe also Scorpio. I will pull up a few more um, messages for this person. Oops. Yeah. So it's possible, uh, Scorpio, that this person has been in a long-term, very traditional relationship, but the, the it has been crumbling for some time, um, this connection. This person can have um, Taurus, uh, Scorpio in their chart. So now they know that they have to just take that, um, yeah, they have to sort of say, 
what's on their mind in their like their feelings but they have to like say their feelings as a truth and they might say it in a way that is okay it's truth based but it's also a bit okay i'm talking facts here i'm also seeing that this person um they could have an ego that they have to come to terms with they are also coming to terms with that they could have walked away from you because they uh, what wanted to prove that they are sticking with tradition. But meanwhile, uh, Scorpio, this person have never left your side. This person never stopped their attraction, the urge to come forward, the urge for a new beginning. Again, they have to go through their own kind of ending. There is, do you might hear about a big, like, big, uh, like, court case or legal matter going around them. But again, they are winning they are coming forward they are embracing the new i see that is supposed to be this way uh yeah this person will tell you about what's happened to them and it's something that is meant to be uh scorpio so i would yeah it's uh, remember that you are able to to handle it you are not so much in your i see you're more in your driven uh you're driven you are uh, focusing on creation you are not uh, going to be stared off your path as well you are someone at the moment you could handle a lot of um work um you can handle your emotions as well you really can handle your emotions and maybe that will be a surprise to you so there is someone here that is uh, there is some kind of jealousy lurking in the background there is someone here that have something conniving around them so you cannot you, for some of you you know about the situation and the the situation could be a little bit close to you so it will be like someone will feel so close to you that they are sort of even if they try not to involve you in the situation there is something you will find out about that situation uh, I just see here uh, uh, Scorpio <laughs> yes you are ducking away from you are ducking away from let's say someone that tries to involve you in something and again uh, it's it's got to do with a split up of a third party situation and someone will be it depends how much you communicate with them uh, it's going to be different for all of you so if you know this person really well and you start talking they are going through something difficult so they will be like oh this is happening and you could be like one you could ghost them and be like i don't want to hear about it i'll come back in two months so that could be your reaction um then for some of you you're just going to be okay you are listening but without needing to react as well because you you just know that uh, this person is sharing something with you and again it's just words and it doesn't have to happen <laughs> directly to you but you could hear about it so it's just going to be different for all of you um so that could be and of course we are in mercury retrograde as well um uh, by the first of april uh, and i can imagine also being aries season and the year of the dragon it could just be quite hectic so you have a purpose um there is someone that could come back from an ending trying to manifest you back i pick up scorpio uh gemini Sagittarius, um, you are protected. See, your life is not going to change, um, Scorpio, based on hearing this, but it could affect you depending on how you emotionally react. Because you will hear about something that for some of you, it will be, it will give you a couple of sleepless nights because you will react uh, as well. Again, we are all different. And sometimes we don't know when we will react we just don't we think that we won't and then we will react it's just impossible so if this person it, it will be it's like this person is going through uh dealing with someone that's very immature and if they are not dealing with the person that's immature and then going to you and be like oh by the way i left but look so you could be very maturely saying to them okay yeah well, I see that uh, you go and stay over there until you sort it out because, yeah, I uh, will not offer my opinion. I will not offer my involvement 
in it. So you could be maturely just saying that as well uh, to someone. You will be just saying, look, this is not my battle to take. I appreciate you telling me this is something that you will um, have to deal with. So you are speaking the truth. There's clarity and you have determination. Someone is very like attracted to you. There could be this narcissistic love bombing. Uh, something's needing time. You're going for what feels grounding. Someone is looking at your picture. I do see uh, for many of you, someone will be heartbroken because you are moving away from them. Someone could express again, this could be a third party. There's something about expressing their pain, trying to make the pain your pain and so on and so on. People's opinion. And yeah, it's like someone could be like, oh, this is not morally, yada, yada, yada. Something like that. So there will be a challenge about you feeling, Scorpio, it's that you're moving towards someone that's coming towards you, expressing their feelings or they're expressing communication to you. They're also saying, oh, I'm leaving a marriage. So at that point, you could say, okay, come back when you have solved it because this will be better for all parties. For those of you that move forward, there will be someone here voicing their opinion. So for all of you, it's going to be different, but there is someone that think that they can come under your skin. I'm picking up, Scorpio, that for most of you, actually, you will surprise yourself with how tough you are and how resilient you are. And that if in the past you were someone that be like, oh gosh, okay, well, yeah, of course I'll take your feelings into consideration. You will be saying now, you will just have no, uh, you will ha have no reaction to anyone trying to, let's say, uh, debate their problems with you. Uh, yeah, someone here is trying to... Uh, involve you in a third party situation and, and uh, an ordeal here. Someone, if you're dealing with an Aries, they could be dealing with Sagittarius. Um, that's for some of you. There is a heartbreak that you could cause someone. There is someone here you're leaving out in the cold as well, Scorpio, because you have options. You could also here, if you're dealing with a Gemini, How is Scorpio going to deal with this matter? Okay, how is Scorpio going to deal with this matter that is being presented to them and their emotions? So your surroundings is saying, now you're keeping yourself to yourself, um, Scorpio, and you are not, um, you are not to, to blame for what someone is going to make you feel. You are simply on a crossroads, but there is someone here that's trying to, um, there could be material greed. There is someone underneath the surface. They are not who they say they are. Uh, Scorpio, this person is coming with false. They're coming with false, um, some lies, and you know about it. You could have a reaction to their lies as well, uh, Scorpio. There's someone here that you will choose to move away from. Uh, there's something here that's unfair. You see it is unfair, it could hurt you, but there is someone here that is trying to, to do one up on you with their uh, intellectual ways as well and traditional thinking. Now, I see that you are not going to, someone that could just be trying different things like anything from manipulation, presenting you with options that aren't true options, uh, trying to sort of deplete you here uh, and trying to get you in a state, basically. Um, it's trying to make you feel like a victim or that you have done something wrong. Uh, why is this person doing it? Because they're trying to get you off your path. You are not going to get off your path as well. This is not your problems here, uh, Scorpio. It's someone here that if you, if you let this person too close, so most of you, know that this person is trying to cause some kind of harm either to your reputation or this is someone that again um, I, I'm picking up a Leo Sagittarius around you, Leo Sagittarius around you, this person would try to push their way in, push their opinion in to you. I can see here and it's not someone you should let close. So I had to get another deck running out today of decks. So remember this, in your current you have healed you feel happy, you feel victorious. Oftentimes, when feeling in this energy, you can notice other energies that aren't positive. Then you can choose to get involved or you can choose another path. Here you have 
um, but this can be close to home. So it can be something that, okay, you have actually something left to heal from this wound and it could trigger you. So that will be the final uh, step for something that you are going to deal with and not react to anymore. Uh, what is going to happen in the, in the future or what is the most likely outcome for Scorpio in love? Yeah, the world. You will wrap up a chapter with someone um, and you will not really allow someone to hold you back anymore. Someone is trying to hold someone back. You could feel like you have hidden enemies. This is someone that didn't take action. Uh, now, when you have the Ten of Pentacles in front of you, a destined connection moving towards you here, uh, Scorpio, there is someone here that is... Uh, kind of trying to to sort of hold you back here. I see for most of you, again, um, Scorpio, it has to do with a third party. So look at the Twin Flame reading. Again, this has to do with someone um, <clears throat> not telling you because they don't want to show. So this they are trying to hide uh, a turmoil that's happening, but it's going to be negative for them. And of course, you as well, if they don't say something, because they don't give you the option of saying, oh, wow, this is happening. You have someone calling you like 24-7 uh, and they're angry. Well, I don't want, I don't want to um, be involved. I don't want my name to be involved. Or I don't want to be involved with you right now because, again, so if someone takes away that right to express your what you want to do, um, that could be unfair to you, uh, Scorpio. It's possible that someone's coming towards you. It could also be someone's coming towards you and you kind of know, but you are like, well, I don't care because I, I can't um, I can't guess. So, so it's uh, something like that. Um, and then this person will, there is someone in their life where this person is relentless and they're showing up in like your environment because they are spending time with you. And you are like, oh my God, you didn't say that you have a, an ex or you didn't say you had this going on. Okay, so it's not unfair to... So again, uh, but I see it's ending well, but you could be sort of feel a bit... There, there, this could be um, a fork in the road, basically, of something good because someone is immature and they are not telling you what's going on and they're coming towards you anyway, but they're not thinking about the consequences of that. I am so, yeah, because they are so attracted to you that if they get an opportunity to come forward, they will just do that and they deal with the consequences later. Yeah, see, I don't react when people mention you. So if this person had played the, I don't know who Scorpio is card, I feel you even though you're part, and then they end up at yours anyway. And yeah, I don't know how, you don't know how it was to let you go. I remember every detail of the day. I wish I could take back my words, see? Um, I know I messed up everything. So someone here could have thoroughly, thoroughly, I am not available. So they could come towards you. I'm afraid to contact you. This is someone that is uh, contacting you anyway. And, and then all this is happening. And then you could be like, oh my God, why did I answer the message? Uh, what, why, <laughs> why did I? There is a person like that that you just know it's no point uh, involving. So trust your intuition. But for the most part, um, Scorpio, it's like, other people's problems could try to become your problem but you can deal with it quite smoothly because if you see here in the beginning the justice is here protecting you uh, and you have moral values a person here that is coming from a split uh, like an ending with someone they are coming here uh, again coming towards you but they haven't finished their battle they want a traditional relationship with you they could come from a traditional relationship but you are single you don't want their baggage then you'll find out something here you'll find out something that you will get stuck in your head and you do not want to participate in it there is like a message about a heartache there's a message about someone going through something and you could choose here to leave someone out in the cold uh, you could choose to do that um scorpio and um, yeah, again, it could sort of pause this uh, connection from moving forward. But I see that you are kind of protecting your heart. You are protecting your, um, yeah, your, your, your blissful bubble. You, there is uh, something you predict and you are sort of saying, oh, no, I really, 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 I'm not going to stay to find out type of thing. Okay, anything else here for Scorpio's feelings? about situation yeah you are just gonna say hey yeah it's something about a libra 
with Libra and their child coming towards you too, too premature. But you have other options and you are feeling good and happy and you are just... There's someone here that's going to be like... Yeah, and, and you know, I said initially about, okay, you don't you shouldn't care or look at the situation the same way. But it's more when someone is expressing to you, oh, I, uh, I've been living with my spouse or something until yesterday. But actually, a year ago, I started being attracted to you. So, of course, uh, I'm using the opportunity to come towards you. It's something like that. It's about, see here, closing the chapter, the death card. So there is someone here using, um, trying to, to be sneaky to get your attention here. Trying to come from doing nothing to fighting for you. That is also possible, uh, Scorpio. This could be someone that you have let go of and now they're coming in just because. I see for many of you, there is new love that you are embracing and because you actually also are, leaving someone even if you don't have anyone you are just seeing that this person they're coming back just because you're in a great energy and they could be an energy vampire and you know they have their stuff going on and you don't really want to revisit this particular person with that like this same situation there's no point because you know what's going to happen i see a mature person coming towards you for many of you, you have two people in your energy. Someone's showing up as a strong um, earth sign and someone that's showing up with air in their chart. Uh, it, could, it could also be an Aries. I see you moving into a relationship that is going to feel very grounding as well. Um, yeah, it could start off like a little bit heavy, but I see it's going to work very well in your favor the most important to think about scorpio i would say you have the sun and the temperance in your favor you have a lot of love around you a lot of people wanting you well so it's here to remember and you wanting you well you're in a very strong energy this will be a test to you to see um can one person, one situation, uh, manage to open a wound that has healed a long time ago because of the energy of the Mercury retrograde? And this always happens to me. It's like I look back and think, wow, I didn't have to overreact. Or why did even that happen? Like the next week, things could sort of fall into place and your emotions is where they should be. But there will be a time where you're like, it's, it's peeling off. It's like, let's, let's try to dig up this. You know, I'm sure this, even if the scar is healed, I'm sure there is something here. Let's just peel it up. I want to have a good look at this scar. It's that sort of, it's kind of silly. Three of swords usually as well is always, always temporary. It's not a, um, you know, there's no tower moment here even. It is not. It's just, okay, look, do we want to have a look at the, this wound? No, there is no wound. <laughs> Scorpio, uh, fabulous actually energy around you. Embrace the new uh, that is coming for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe and uh, leave a comment and I wish you a wonderful weekend.